G'day folks, Jay here. Well, I bought an accumulator. Uh, I was going to do the adjustable pressure switch first, but I thought about it and I thought, well, why don't we just put the accumulator in and then do the pressure switch? Just made sense to me. I'm not going to risk this new engine, so for the small price of setting this up, to ensure that there's oil pressure at all times it just wasn't worth the risk so I went out and got one anyway I want to have a talk about it it's very interesting little piece of um, ingenuity really it's American made uh, Moroso uh, don't ask me the size of it it's uh, I did know it but it's, an, it's a reasonable size one there's a gauge on the back of it there's a piston inside, so as oil pressure builds up, uh, the piston moves up in there and there's air in the other, other half of the um, tank. Now, what, a, what a, um, an accumulator does, I'll give you a quick run through first. It basically stores oil pressure, uh, a volume of oil under pressure from the engine with the, uh, the, end, the oil pump, uh, for example, we're running 60 psi, say at 4,000 revs, 5,000 revs, okay? Now for that instant moment, if a high G corner, for any reason, whether it be drag racing, uh, circuit racing, any high G loadings, you're gonna get oil surge. Depends how hard you're pushing your car but there will be a point where the oil surge will come into play being a wet sump that's not a dry sump setup so and I mean by oil surge is when the engine pickup from the pump picks up air and no longer is, no longer is uh, picking up oil under the sheer forces the oil runs up the side of the pan and all of a sudden you've lost oil pressure well, what this does is this is storing pressure while the engine's running along nicely at 60 pounds, for example. And as soon as that picks up air and there's a hint of oil drop, this thing here will fire, dump oil back into the engine to maintain oil pressure for the moment that there's oil surge in the engine. Uh, a litre and a half on average. So that's a, that's a fair bit of oil to be um, dumping back into the engine and enough time to, for the engine to recover its oil then it'll take on its own with its own oil pressure then this thing will fill back up now in reality depends on how hard you're driving this thing would be probably moving around a fair bit to compensate for oil pressure drop to maintain flow and pressure on the back half of it is air, and once you compress air up, you're going to have a fair old rate of um, compression once there's a drop on this side. Now, the, the added benefit of an accumulator is, if your engine, for example, you don't drive your car much, and it's sitting around for weeks at a time, or a month, two months at a time, and you know what it's like when you hop in your car and you go to start it and there's no oil pressure and it sometimes takes three to four five seconds to get it's like when you do an oil change uh, not that it's it's killing your engine but it's nice to have uh, oil straight up well what this does um, for example you're, you've got some oil pressure the engine's running you can turn it off before you shut the engine down so you can have 30, 40, 50 pound of pressure in here and a litre, a litre and a half of oil on tap. Walk away, leave the car for a month, two months, whatever, and you want to start it. So what you do, you turn your, your valve back on, she's going to dump oil back into the engine. Get it back into the galleries, get some into the uh, filter, and then, as soon as you hit the key, bang, you've got oil pressure pretty much straight away. So that's what a lot of um, fellas buy these for too not just for um, 
high G application. If you're doing an oil change, store your pressure. Again, turn it off before you, you dump the oil and then you can re, um, re-flood your, your engine with oil. Probably not a good idea though because the fact is that there's old oil in there. I just thought of that then. But look, there's, there's a lot of benefits for this and I, I've bought this mainly for uh, high G applications to save this little engine. Now this is a sandwich plate which goes on to where the filter goes on. There's an O-ring on this side. The oil is pumped into the uh, filter through via these, these holes around the outside. So the oil goes into the outside of the filter. Then it gets filtered and comes back through the center of it. So oil pressure, feed that, that feeds back through to the engine, all the, the bearings, and on its way through it filters this um, gets pumped back into the accumulator. So it's basically storing oil pressure all the time for you. So if you do lose it at the um, sump, you've got it here as a backup. Great thing, a lot of the guys down at the circuit club are running these and have great success with them. They swear by them and I don't want to um, run the risk after spending lots of money on this motor uh, hurting it. So. This is what I'm going to do guys, so I'm going to do a video when I get it all up and running and show you how it all works with the gauge and everything because I think you have to preload it around 6 to 8 psi so when the oil pressure does come back it builds up nicely because air will expand or compresses a lot, a lot more than what oil, oil would obviously so they say about halfway roughly You've got halfway of air pressure and half of oil, which is about a litre and a half. So obviously you're going to have to put a little bit more oil in your engine to cover the um, accumulator. So great little invention. Uh, wasn't cheap, but wasn't over expensive. Considering the money I, you know, you guys, anyone spends on your motor, uh, having to you know rebuild that and fix that because of um, oil surge and oil pressure loss. This is a cheap little investment. So uh, I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to take it down to the track over the weekend. I'll have a video up then and I'll do another video on this on how it all works. So plenty more to come. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later.